Hello and welcome again to Let's Play Shadows of Alm, and this is Policy of Madness. Last time we fucked over Keldorn. <laughs> we did his quest, we told him that he would, after we were finished here, he'd be able to go back to his family and basically spend all the time with them that he's not been spending previously, even though he lives in the same fucking city with them. And then we stripped him naked and left him here in the sewer. Hmm. That's because Keldorn is an asshole. And so we, uh... Look, look, look. Pulled an asshole move on him. Uh, in return. Now we're going to head up here into Mechrath's place. Very very nice. To continue the quest that we're actually on. Which is to take care of whatever you want. Hair Delise. Incurtus Pulcur Imperium. Radiated by glass dust. Okay. Oh, that makes him blind or something. Alright. If this area looks familiar to you, it should. This is Durleg's Tower. <laughs> Uh, third floor, I think. Tell me all about it. Hmm. Of course. There's a magma method or something back here. Something fire-based. If that's what you want. Yes. Whatever you desire. Tell me all about it. Hmm. Yeah. Is that all? fire-based enemies in this game. And... Uh, a fire shield blue would have been more useful against them. We chose fire shield red uh, for a reason. Very, very. And the reason is because Fire Shield Blue, uh, dealing cold damage. Holy shit. This is definitely a job for, uh, In magic swords. <laughs> Actually, it would be a job for the Death Spell if I had it. Sword, was it?
Incursus Fulcor Imperium. Yes. Whatever you want. Huh. Weird. Wonder how my Mortar got uh <laughs> got hostled. I mean I guess it could have been when I cast uh Huh. I just don't know. Okay, well anyway. This sparrow is ready to fly. At your command, of course. So, Herdelise has been... mind wiped. And there is no second level. This would have gone up to the third level of Durlax Tower, but here it doesn't. Because we're not technically in Durlax Tower. This, however, this staircase does work. And here we are Just in the bridge passed. district. In some kind of little overlook. So the bridge district collects, uh, connects to the temple district. Which is across the fucking river. <laughs> Via the sewers. Okay. What do you like? So let's go meet up with Mekrith. Tell me all about it. Wait a minute. Oh, I guess I must have. Because the Mordsward killed this Umber Hulk. And I got no AXP for it. I must have somehow... It's not how it's supposed to work. Yeah, I got no AXP for this Minotaur. This this Mordsward was not under my control. I must have... Uh, that um, Sunfire must have made it hostile. That's not how it's supposed to work, though. I have to look into that a little further. You need something stranger. If you mention his gem, Mekrith will attack you. If you mention his gem, he'll attack you. And this dialogue tree gives you many opportunities to mention the gem. An annoying little imp that I had enslaved <laughs> freed himself. Here's the gem again. We could kill Mekrith, but why? The radical conception of power uh, has some problems. And uh, if you were following my last uh, Let's Play at all, somewhere around Werewolf Island, Nothing to it. Uh, I think it was, yeah, Werewolf Island, I started talking about how... Manus Potentis Pa! Doing something that uh, 
indicates that you think that you know what is good for someone better than they that person does. Uh, that makes you a dick. That makes you a condescending fucking dick. I think that's a good enough. That's right, the fucking imp cast spells. Forgot about that. one does what's in their own best interests, uh, according to the information that they have at the time. And I said uh, then, and this is true, that even though people do what is, according to their information, in their own best interests, you can sometimes change their minds by giving them additional information. Whatever you want. If you give them more information uh, that improves their understanding of the situation, then you can sometimes make them behave differently. You need something, stranger. <laughs> wasn't even torturing him or anything. Alright. So now we're going to loot the place. First we're going to get rid of Herodolese. Filled with stars and liquid fire, and I see before me the new holders of my shackles. The wizard has released me, I see, only to pass my reins to another. All right, go away here, please. Now we're going to loot Mikra's place. You actually can loot it while Mikra is still here. I just chose not to do that. Oh shit! Another fucking dream. I think this is the last one though. Stand. I'm already standing. You rest each night uneasy. 
Yes, you are weary. You struggle daily. It will not end, you know, until you acknowledge what you are. You walk as a mortal, taking no advantage from your heritage, from your talents within. So many things of flesh are greater than you. Walk among them, these beasts that are less than you are. See their strength, see how easily you fall to their muscle and skill. Why do you stand for this? Why do you submit to the flesh when death is bred in your bones? Do you realize the power you might hold? When the world of flesh is beneath you, even creatures mysterious and magical will fall. I'm actually not sure why he's telling us all this. Follow and receive the gift you are owed by the blood in your veins. It's not like we can actually choose a different path, after all. Follow, if only to protect the weak that fell because of you. I mean, this game has us pretty effectively railroaded. Our saving throws kind of suck. There are some traps in here. We're going to avoid them like we avoid all traps. Which is basically just by... kidding ourselves out with a whole bunch of spells. <laughs> Incurtus. Aren't a lot of other options available to us. Okay. surprising how many traps we can just force open now. If you can change people's minds and make them do, you know, what's more closely aligned with their best interests, or at least what you believe to be their best interests, by giving them more and better information, then the reverse also stands. You can change someone's actions for the worse for themselves by giving them more and worse information. Still don't know what this is about. Didn't make sense in Durlag's Tower. It makes slightly more sense here. But still not a ton. And that's what the radical conception of power is about. It's about people doing things that are not in their interests based on someone else's manipulation.
kind of a shitty necklace. We're not even gonna bother identifying it. This trap here is not as dangerous as the one in Durlag's Tower. Hmm. Of course. But it'll still kill you if you don't have enough hit points when you get there. <laughs> <coughs> The problem is that how exactly do you apply this knowledge? You know, we can say that uh, on an abstract level, it's pretty apparent that people are uh, sometimes manipulated into things that, into doing things that they would not have otherwise done had they had all the information that an outside observer has. But how do you determine when this isn't, you know, uh, kicking in? How can you tell when someone is genuinely being manipulated versus them having as much information as they need, thank you very much, and they're just doing something that you don't personally agree with? <laughs> you don't personally agree with Whatever the, you, you know, actions that they're taking. Therefore, you're going to say that those actions are not legitimate? I mean, really? It's really condescending. It's really condescending, and it presumes knowledge that you may not actually have. Yes, sir. Yawn struck. <laughs> what makes you think you're worthy to sleep with me? Give me pants. <laughs> Discover, run for it, boy. <laughs> Hello there. I welcome you with outstretched hand. I trust you are here in good faith. All right. I don't actually want to see any more vampires. So, until we get to the next chapter. So we're going to come to the slums and rest until it's morning. It's easy enough to see how the radical conception of power could function. And how it clearly does function. I mean, clearly this is a thing that happens. Back here, Bernard. I got some cheap beer for ya. It's much harder to be able to say for sure that you uh, uh, can what definitely see it, want. see it in operation on a particular person. You can definitely say. Mom. You, good sir, have done something that is not in your own best interests because you have been manipulated. And this person is probably going to look at you like, what the hell? <laughs> really? Really? Just ask. <clears throat> you think what you know what's best for me better than I knew? And that would be definitely a legitimate reaction, so... The radical conception of power is difficult to apply in practice.
with real live people. And practice with people who are in real life. It's uh, going to be hard to say for sure that this is actually a thing that's happening. Uh, summoning that familiar gave us 12 extra hit points, and summoning it in the last game gave us uh, 6. And I could go in and Shadow Keeper and edit out those original 6 hit points. Because we got them like? by having a familiar, and we kept them by having our familiar, well, you know, we got a, a second batch by summoning a familiar, having our familiar first uh, removed from us by Irenicus, and then summoning it again. And I actually am not sure, but that this is something that you could do an indefinite number of times. That you could summon your familiar. And you just stow this shit. Should have done it while I was down there. We'll find some place to stow it here. Surely there are some barrels or something. Oh, come on, barrels. There's my barrel. Okay. I could go into Shadowkeeper and remove those uh, six illegitimate hit points, but... Um, I think that's an oversight in the game, because I think that you could probably do that indefinitely. Summon a familiar, then reload the game. Uh, import your character into the beginning. And, uh, you know, try it again. <laughs> and get, you know, potentially an infinite number of hit points that way. Alright. Good way to our next level. Well, you look like the sort who has more than two. What level do we need to be to get skeleton warriors? Is it level 15? Level 15. Maybe I want to be a level 15 before I go in there. If there's an easy way to get to level 15. I think I probably do. And I'm a long way from my next level. Let's see, this is 200,000 hit points away. Or 200,000 EXP away. Ah, fuck it. We'll somehow manage. Whatever you want. If you say so. So you return, and our dark haired Elise, his feathers shattered by your hands, has preceded you. Except that this is a lie. This is a lie. He's lying to me now. Yeah. You fell into his keeping because you're the one who sensed it and you went to his house. I, I don't understand why he lies and lies and lies and then it just owns up to it right here.
I'm actually not sure how much of this is legit. I'm not as familiar with Forgotten Realms outside of this game uh, as I am with some other properties. I don't know if Young Conduits are actually a thing or if they're called that. Sounds like an unstable wormhole. Elise, everyone, gather round. This stone is ready to begin the summoning. <gasps> Such drama. All right. No big. What kind of method is this? Oh, it's a closet. I don't know if closets are vulnerable to fire. Let's find out. Oh, magic resistance. Weapon has no effect. Am I hurting it with? Yeah. Magic hurts it. I trust all is well. Trust all this way. We were set up. He wore a mask and met with us in alleyways. And you didn't realize you were being set up? The story doesn't even make sense. There's a reason it doesn't make sense. It's because this is also a big fat lie. So now we go into the conduit to continue our adventure, but not before we have prepped like we've never prepped before. And we also want to loot this area. By the small number of things it has, although friend spell is definitely worth it. can turn into a mustard jelly. Actually, wow. This thing will let me turn into a mustard jelly? I'm waiting. Do I have a mustard jelly's magic resistance? 
No. Well, that's useless then. Of course. All right. We're gonna drop a couple of things in our barrel up here, and then rest, if that's what you want. and then go into the conduit. How can you tell when someone is being merely manipulated versus Whatever you genuinely decide. doing what's in their best interests based on information that you don't necessarily have? because you have different information than that person does doesn't mean your information is better. <laughs> it might be. Alright. We're going to take off this and these. I might as well ditch these also. Radical conception of power does have some problems in its execution, <laughs> in its application. Is that all? Look, look, look. Good smiling friends. All right. Now we're going to go down in here and we're going to take care of the nothing to it. This first fight here, which is the most dangerous. This is definitely where we're going to die if we're going to die here. This is one of the most dangerous parts of the early part of this game. And we're going to use Draw Upon Holy Might, which we have, like, I think never used before. Okay. Wait a minute. Are we invisible? Yes. What What can it be now? What can it be now? Spell failed. Awesome. Although it may cheat and still, still fire it off. 
but uh, that's more common in throwing a ball. Right out of the realm. You deserve no less than death and no more. I'll wipe your filthy lineage right out of the realm. This guy was the most dangerous. You deserve no less than death. You deserve no less than death. All right. <laughs> that was uh pretty cool. You you wouldn't hurt a gnome, would you? I'm always afraid of hurting him. It's actually possible to do it if you get too close to him with the sunfires. Why are they awaiting transport? I guess I don't understand. This is not like flying through the planes or anything, is it? It's just magic. You just open a portal to the place you want to go. Right? So that was the most dangerous part <laughs> of this uh, area. So uh, I'm actually going to stop here. Uh, next time we'll be making our way through this planar prison. And uh, I'll probably do the whole thing. But uh, what we came here for is the Boots of Speed, which is on one of these corpses. But uh, we'll uh, get that next time. Join me then. Later. <laughs>